tradition alongside our music packs, we yet again bring a brand new environment, this time alongside our new Skrillex pack. This one went through quite a few iterations. I personally had the job in designing the environment after the positive feedback from the last one I made, Kaleidoscope. I originally decided to do something with the double diamond shape, as it's the plating shape behind Skrillex's text-based logos. Another one of the beatmappers, Colazan, decided he wanted to get into and learn environmental design also, and so after a couple YouTube videos and a download of Blender, he created some additional pillar work that we used in addition, as well as the Skrillex logo being used as the bridge. At this stage, it was looking that the environment was perhaps going to look like this. After a bit more discussion and brainstorming, it was decided that this environment didn't stand out enough from some of the very original environment designs, and so I went back to the drawing board and decided to make this. I split the diamond shape into four quarters, extended them and made them very large. Spinning rings that were only visible through the gaps in the split diamond was something I was really digging. This design was then decided amongst the team to be what the Skrillex environment would be. We couldn't figure out something decent for the floating logo, and so it was reinstated as, as the bridge design that Colazan founded. Jan then took the ropes, flashed up all the baked lighting, and as per usual polished all the attention to detail, including the lights at the end of the tunnel look. And in the end, we have the official release. Now as for which lane light controls which light, they are as follows. X lights, ring lights, laser left, laser right, lane lights. We also have the two additional light events we introduced with the Interscope pack. We also use them here as additional left and right lights. This environment also consists of two sets of rings. The ring lights and lane lights each control a set. The ring spin event controls the spinning of one set and the ring expand event controls the spinning of the second. The minor moving lasers on the left and right also have two different modes, controllable by the same ring expand lane, as well as their speed is controllable by the normal laser speed lanes. Boost colors return as per usual, to a neon red and green, all inspired by some of Skrillex's earlier color schemes. We hope you enjoy the new Skrillex environment and are loving the pack as much as we loved making it. Let us know your thoughts and share us some screenshots on social media of some color combinations you've found that work well in the environment.